So we're going to start off a little curve uh, tonight. Um, we're announcing the acquisition of first baseman outfielder Steve Pierce from the Toronto Blue Jays organization and cash consideration for infielder Santiago Espinal. Uh, we're happy to have Steve uh, join us. He's uh, a proven major league player, uh, very quality right-handed hitter, hits left-hand pitching very well, type of guy that we've been looking if we could find to add that we think adds to the lineup versus left-handers. Uh, I'm sure he'll join us at some point this weekend. We've played phone tag so far. And so uh, uh, be in a spot where uh, he'll join us. Well, we've been looking if, uh, for a guy that can hit versus left-hand pitch. Even though we've done better in recent times, we've swung the bat better, we still have talked about trying to add one more guy that we could put in the lineup versus a tough left-hander. He's traditionally hit left-hand pitching very well. He was out for an extended time this year with an oblique. He's come back from that and, uh, again, hit, hit very well. So uh, he's a threat to drive and runs, drive the ball out of the ballpark. And so I uh, think a guy that can uh, add for us, uh, like that, a key cog for us versus certain left-handed pitching. And uh, he can hit right-handers, too. I mean, to take that away from him, but that's really the role we were looking for him to play. Dave, he's, uh, I think this is the fourth AL East team he's played yes. for. Um, was that a factor, familiarity, success here in this uh, well, division? Well, it doesn't hurt. I mean, I think it does help, sure. Um, our, some of our scouts that saw him play pointed that out and so I'm swinging the bat again this year, but said the familiarity of being in this league, in this division, I'm sure it helps. Uh, we have to make that decision yet. We still have to make that. I'm not even sure because we've played phone tag, so I'm not sure. Um, hopefully it'll be there tomorrow, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, 